Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make a Wildcat YouTube banner, and then as well as that, how to make a matching Twitter header. Um, it's an extremely easy process. If you guys are new here, um, you don't need Photoshop as well. It's completely free. You don't have to download anything as well. It's super awesome. And if you guys are new here, make sure to also subscribe to the channel and hit a huge like on this video. I put in a lot of work making these templates for free for you guys and making a lot of the assets as well. And also on that note, on pretty much every Twitter header, tutorial video that I do you guys ask me for that specific header um, for like a YouTube version so in every tutorial in the future here on my main channel I should have a YouTube and a Twitter um, version for each tutorial so instead of just doing one like Twitter header or YouTube banner or whatever I'm just gonna include them in one so again I'd appreciate it if you guys could leave a like on this video and just drop a comment and show some support and yeah with that being said I think I did enough rambling let's go ahead and just jump into today's video All right, so first of all, in the description, I will have a link to the Google Drive where you guys should just go ahead and download all the assets you need because there are quite a few of them for today's tutorial. As well as that, I will have timestamps in the description and as well as that, you guys can just find them by sliding through the video. I'll have a timestamp for the YouTube banner tutorial if you guys wanna check that out. Then I will have a timestamp for the Twitter header tutorial, which is gonna be right away, I'm gonna talk about that one first. So first of all, again, make sure you guys download everything to your desktop or to a folder that you need. And what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna hop right into Pixlr here and we're actually gonna go to the website. I'll have a link in the top of the description or you guys can just type in Pixlr and it will come up and then you guys can just hop into the main screen right here by clicking Pixlr E. All right, so the very first thing we're gonna do for the Twitter header is we're gonna go to open image and here it is. As you guys can see here, the one I'm gonna choose is the Twitter header template. I'm gonna go ahead and double click on it and as you guys can see, it already sizes it how we need it. So we wanna keep that locked. We don't wanna end up moving that at all. Now the very first thing we're gonna do as I always do in every single tutorial is we're gonna go to layer we're gonna click add image as layer. And then in that Google Drive, there should be a Wildcat skin. There's actually should be two. So you can use whichever one you want for the like the main render. And here it is. So I'm gonna double click that. I'm gonna go to edit. I'm gonna go to free transform. And I'm just gonna make that a bit smaller because it ended up being a lot bigger than I had intended it to. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it right in the middle of this template. So it just gives the effect that it's kind of splitting in between. And we're going to click apply and the very first thing I'm actually going to do with that quick is go to adjustment brightness and contrast and just give it a little bit of brightness and just a little bit of contrast to make those colors pop. Now let's go ahead and get our text in here right away. I've actually used this font in many other tutorials so you guys should have it already but if you guys don't just click add text and go to this down arrow right here and click add local font then in that google drive that you guys downloaded from the description there will be a font file called stretch pro go ahead double click that and it will add it to your font. Now all you need to do once you add it is click on the top right here. I'm going to change the color to white here. And then I'm just gonna type in ice space kicks. And I'm gonna make sure it is behind our render right here. Now I'm actually going to make the K-I-C-K-Z. I'm actually gonna make that a pink color just like the thumbnail. So I'm gonna click the dropper and I'm gonna select this pink right from the background. It gives me kind of like that exact color. And it looks like it's only changing the second half. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of this first half. I'm gonna put this here. I'm gonna make sure the size by clicking, make sure we're on the uh, typing tool here, the text tool. And I'm gonna drag the size up a bit here of just my other part of my name. And I'm gonna slide it over here. It's about where I had it in the, uh, in the thumbnail. So I'm actually gonna get that where I want it. I'm gonna go to the three dots right here and I'm gonna go to duplicate. And I'm just going to drag this text layer all the way to the left. I'm going to double click it. And I'm just going to put in ice, which is the first half of my name. Now, if you guys only have like one name, it's not like split into two. You guys don't have to do this process, but I'm going to go to fill. I'm going to make sure it's white because I like this side to kind of stand out a little bit. And I'm just going to kind of line it up how I see fit here. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to click on the top text layer. And then we're going to make sure that the other one is right below it. I'm gonna click on the three dots and I'm just gonna to go to merge down, which basically just combines the two layers, um, just combines it with the one underneath. Now that that's an image, we can go ahead and add a few effects to this actually. I'm gonna to go to the lasso tool, I'm gonna to go to the polygon one. I'm actually gonna cut out a little pieces here. I'm gonna to go to select, deselect. I'm also gonna go over to the ice here and just do it a little bit by clicking each time. I'm going to select, deselect. I'm also gonna zoom in here and do it on maybe the E. I'm gonna click, 
I'm gonna click there. I'm gonna click again just to create a little triangle. I'm gonna hit the backspace or the delete button to get rid of it and go to select and deselect. Kind of gives me like a cool effect on the text here. Now, pretty much all that's left for us to do for this is to actually go ahead and just get these social media um, and like the icons as well, um, which I actually did make for you guys. So again, in that Google Drive, I actually provided for you guys um, the pink version for pretty much every single social media that I could find, including Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. Um, while you guys see in my example um, for the thumbnail right here, I just used YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter. Um, so I'll go ahead and just show you guys how to do that real quick. And then we'll also focus on some of the other things in the background. So if we head back to here, I'm just going to go to layer, add image as layer and find the social media PNG icons, which are already transparent. So I'm just going to click like the Twitter one and I don't want to move the render. So I'm going to go ahead and click the three dots and I'm going to lock this and we're going to go to the Twitter logo. I'm going to go to edit free transform and we just want to drag this up about here. And we're gonna apply, you wanna hit yes, and then all we have to do is click layer, add image as layer, and go ahead and find like the Instagram one or whatever you guys want to use. Um, just, all you have to do really is just make sure you don't want to move that either. I should really start blocking my layers properly, I feel like. But it's just key to make sure that these are all kind of like the same size so it doesn't look odd. I feel like that's kind of where a lot of people mess up. Um, you guys can use a scroll wheel again to kind of zoom in and get like exact you know, kind of like just get it exact. Um, it really does look a lot cleaner in my opinion that way. Um, and then if you guys have your social medias, all you need to do is click the type tool. We're gonna click and add some text and I'm gonna type in slash ice kicks. And I'm actually gonna do take this. Um, I'm gonna go to styles. No, I believe I'm gonna go to format. There we go. I'm actually gonna make this italic just cause I think um, it looks a bit better. We're gonna make sure we go to the size. We're gonna drag this uh, down quite a bit here. I'm gonna drag it over by here. I need to make it go down just a tad more. All right, so now that we got our social media in, all that's left to do really is to add some of the cooler effects that I will show you guys how to get. So to get this cool text down here, um, all we need to do is go back and just go ahead and just go to the text tool and just type in I'm gonna type in ice, and then all I need to do is go to the size, make it a bit bigger here. That is looking about good. Then all I need to do is go to styles, and we're gonna go to outline, and we're gonna click this punch out button here. I'm um, gonna make the size a bit smaller, and I'm gonna go to color, and you guys can honestly make it whatever you want. I'm just gonna make it this pink color on here using the eyedropper. And as you guys can see, it looks pretty cool there. Now, as you guys know, I have a picture of, let me see if I can go back here. I think this is probably one of the cooler effects that you guys can do to either this or the YouTube banner is actually to get this wildcat skin like in the text. Um, to show you guys how to do that, all you need to do actually is go to layer and we're gonna add image as layer and we're gonna find that other render that I did provide again in that Google Drive link. And here it is. So we're gonna double click that. I'm gonna click edit, free transform right away. And I'm gonna make this a bit smaller and make sure I kind of just size it how I want it to kind of fit in there. Um, I'm gonna make sure I drag this all the way to the top of my layers section here. And I am just going to kind of maybe put it in the C for now, just eyeball it to be quite honest. Um, but anyway, we're gonna go back to the text layer and we're gonna go to select and we're gonna select pixels. And then all we need to do is go to the render that we just added. If I scroll all the way up, I just had it on the top and I'm gonna go to edit and I'm gonna go to cut and it's gonna cut that out of like right away of that render, if that makes sense. So I'm actually gonna just delete that render layer. And I'm gonna go to edit and I'm gonna paste what I cut from that. And then I'm actually just gonna go ahead and match it up to where um, I kind of had it right here. And as you guys can see, um, if I zoom out here, it kind of adds that cool effect like, um, it's like in the image, if that makes any sense. I think it looks pretty cool. What you can do, what you can also do is kind of adjust that transparency as well, just to kind of make it blend in a bit more. You can kind of, you know, adjust to how you guys want here. All right, so once you guys have it how you want it, um, obviously you guys can see here, I kind of messed up with the text, but once you guys have it specifically how you want it, all you guys have to do is go to file and just go to save. Then all you have to do is drag the quality up to 100%, make sure the width is 1500 for 500 for Twitter, and then just name it whatever you want and go ahead and download it. 
Now it is pretty much the same exact process to follow for the YouTube tutorial as well. So for that, all we're gonna do is go to open image, then in that Google Drive again, I actually provided for you guys a YouTube banner template grid. You're gonna double click on that and we're gonna make sure we actually go to max original here and we're gonna click apply. Now basically we're gonna go ahead and make sure that this is locked, which it should be to start off with. Now all we have to do is go to layer, add image as layer, and then again in that Google Drive I have a YouTube template. Um, it's going to be a little bit longer as you guys know the format is a bit different for YouTube as it is for Twitter. So we're going to double click that and then it does again just format it perfectly for the YouTube banner size. So again we're going to go to the three dots on the one that we just added and we're going to lock that layer so we don't end up moving it at all. And then what you guys could realistically do is go to your other Pixlr um, project here and just go to your Twitter one and you guys can like take a layer and go to like say I wanted to copy the text or something like that I can go to select select pixels i can go to edit i can go to copy i can go back to the other one i can go to edit and i can go to paste and that's an easy way to kind of just paste your layers back onto the project so you don't have to like re-go through everything but again if you guys want to re-go through everything you guys can refer to the twitter one um just to kind of like add all of your stuff um it really is just going to be like the same process for each hopefully i discussed everything properly um if you guys have any questions specifically make sure to go ahead and again leave it in the comment section down below also, make sure to go ahead and drop a comment down below what skin you guys want me to use again in the future. I'm kind of running out of ideas as far as like skins or like types of banners and stuff you guys want to see, but I know you guys have been really, really liking the tutorials and the templates in general, and I want to make more of them. So again, I'm open to pretty much all ideas, so just drop a comment down below what you guys would like to see. Um, I also have a 3D text um, tutorial coming for Pixlr really, really soon. So again, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. I will catch you guys in the next video on the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.